welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Andrea Sachs, who is the chair of the JCA AHF. Andrea, welcome to the studio. Thank you very, very much. Shall I explain to you what the JCA AHF is? Please do. It's the Joint Coordination Activity, which is a bizarre way of referring to it, on accessibility and human factors. And it's been created to track all the accessibility and disability work through the actual union for the, all the sectors. Now, I wanted to basically talk, let's talk a little bit more generally, but we can, we can work our way into to the specifics. But there's currently considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies as enablers for, for good, for development, for the benefit of people. Perhaps we can talk about that, families and communities and nations. And I wanted to find out what's your personal perspective on this? Well, it's probably personal perspective as I grew up in a home with deaf parents, which you already know, and they couldn't use the phone. Well, now we have so much technology, deaf people, persons who are deaf, can be independent and use technology to have real-time communication with other people in other locations. And as technological advances occur, we have to make sure the engineers add that to the standards that we write at the ITU or go to different countries in regard like the D sector to explain that these standards exist and the technology exists and also make sure they don't leave it out. And talking about leaving out and putting things in, there's been a number of resolutions here that have been drawing attention to persons with disabilities. Yes, the, the original one, which was done a few years ago, which was PP175, which is, I can never remember the title, but it's Access for Telecommunications. That's for okay, we can, you can draw, 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 draw a draw. Where's my notes? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, so, I don't, didn't write that down. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter. PP175 is Access to Telecommunications, but it also tells the union what to do and to how to make it possible for persons with disabilities to actually participate in ITU. Because we have, in the T sector, an active group of uh, people in Study Group 16, Question 26, who are persons with disabilities, who are actual members of the ITU now. So they tell us, no, we don't want that, we want this. So it's listening to the groups of people that want to be served. That's the real issue that we need to address. What about uh, the fact that this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? Uh, w perhaps we could talk a little bit about examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development and, and in particular perhaps with, per with regards to persons with disabilities. Well, actually there is a, in one of the resolutions, the actual mention that we have to take per into account persons with disabilities into the Sustainable Development Goals. Basically, it means that all the work that we do, when we look at that, we have to take that into account. I could give you a huge list, but like for instance, there's WISIS that work on that basis, and we are working with WISIS. And, and the World Summit for the Information Society. Thank you, dear. And also, we have been given five workshops, because, uh, and that is the JCA coordinating and getting people to actually participate all well and many different subjects and we also have a link with the IGF who has also been meeting this week and the person who is running that for the dynamic coalition on accessibility and disability which is also on my card is blind and he's doing a terrific job so it's moving away from me and the beginnings that we did years ago and now people who actually have disabilities who are proving the point that access is making their lives freer and more independent. About half the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half isn't. I just wanted to find out, is enough being done, do you think, to, do, to get everyone connected? No, of course not. But people are doing what they can. Um, the development sector in the ITU works very hard at trying to have persons with disabilities attend and also going to different countries to try and help them get access to accessibility. One of the biggest problems, of course, is education, and that's for children with disabilities, and ICTs are invaluable in that area. Finally, is there a message that you'd like to convey here to participants at the Plenipotentiary Conference in the last few days, so also to our wider audience as well? 
Well, for the manufacturers and people who represent businesses, make your business accessible, make your products accessible. For those of the people who make standards and work in the different areas, please make sure you add accessible features to your standards. And if you don't know what that is, just give me a bell. Andreas Hex, thank you very much. Thank you. Great stuff.